I have an HCX course coming out. If you're watching this, I am probably in the process of sending the files to the editor, or I guess if you watch it a week or two from now, it'll be done being edited. Either way, I have an HCX fundamentals course that once I finish the course and it's published on TechBytes, my training site, then I will put that in the description below and you can get that course. This course is just like this video. We go through the entire implementation of HCX from deploying the Paris location, London, the interconnects. We go through everything from scratch. It's really pretty awesome. I wish I had had it when I was learning HCX, so I hope you enjoy it too. Hey, what's up nerds, Mike here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to run a performance test on your HCX environment. This is specifically going to address what is the throughput between my network extension appliances between my two different sites. So before we actually jump into running the test, I wanna draw this out real quick. So in our environment, let's say we have, we have two locations. We have Paris and we also have London. And within each location, we have a couple of appliances. We have our interconnect appliance or IX. And these are VM form factors. If you're not as familiar with HCX, those are just VM form factors that are used for replicating data between sites. So they kind of establish this little tunnel between each other. And we've also got some network extension appliances. And now HCX, I have one on each side, but HCX, just so you know, does support high availability of those network extension appliances. So you can actually have an active pair and a standby pair, but you can also scale these out. And as you extend networks, let me go ahead and just give you a quick example here. So let's say we have a VM here and it's connected to the pink network. We can say, I wanna have the pink network extended so it's available on this side to you know, the pink VM or something like that. So both of those VMs are now extended on the same network. And we can also say, hey, if later I have a blue network and I've got a VM connected to that, I can say, you know, I want this blue VM to go to a different network extension appliance. And I would deploy that here as well. There we go. So that's kind of how it would work. So we do have the option with HCX to scale these out. And I know that's going off the rails a little bit, but I'd like to make people very aware of that. Now in our case though, what we're going to do for this performance test is we're going to check the performance of this right here. So HCX has this tunnel right here between these two appliances, and we're going to check the performance of that. We wanna make sure that we are getting the performance we expect because this matters probably more than anything from a performance standpoint, because guess what? If these VMs right here, if they wanna to talk to each other, they are going to traverse that tunnel. So we want to make sure that that is a highly performing tunnel. So to do that, let's go ahead and flip over into the lab and I'll show you how to run this performance test. All right, from here, we're going to go into PuTTY and I'm just going to SSH into my HCX manager and I'm actually logging into the one in London. So in this case, I'll go ahead and SSH into that, enter my credentials, hopefully, without messing them up. Let's see if I did it. Yes, I did it. All right. From there, we're logged into the manager. Now, HCX has something called a central CLI. So if you just type, I don't know, if you just type help, for example, you get the generic Linux help command, which isn't really useful, to be honest. Not to me, at least. Um, but with central CLI, essentially it lets you log into the manager and then from there you have access to your uh, service mesh appliances. So your interconnect, your network extension appliance, etc. So to do that, you need to just type CCLI for central CLI. And you see it says welcome to central CLI. Now if I type help, we see that we have some other help commands. One of those is list. So if you see, it says list, display, deployed service appliances. Service appliances, that is your interconnect and your network extension and WAN optimization if you're doing that as well. From there, we can type in list and it will give us a listing of our local service mesh appliances. Again, that's just within London in this case. To log into one of these, all we have to do is use the go command. And you can see up here, it says go 
select a service appliance for appliance specific commands. So what Go will do is essentially allow us to SSH into one of those appliances right from this interface. So if I type Go, I'm going to then specify the ID of my network extension appliance, which is one. So I'll say Go one, hit enter. All right, now you can see my prompt has changed and I've logged into the network extension appliance here. From there, all we have to do, let's go ahead and type help. We can then run perf test, which will give us the network diagnostic uh, statistics between these locations. So I'm gonna go ahead and type perf test and hit enter just to show you the additional options here. So let's, oops, I typo that, perf test, there we go. We see we have these other options right here for this command that we can add on to it. My favorite is uplink. So that will just run an iperf test essentially between these appliances. So in my case, I'll do perf test without typoing it. Then I'll type uplink. And then I'm going to specify a time for this test. I could do something like T and then you can specify how long it should last. I'll just do one. All right, so first, it, the first thing it's going to do while running this test is it's going to try to ping between these appliances to make sure they can even see each other first. Once that is successful, it will then continue with the iperf test where it will actually give us our throughput. And we can see here it's almost finished. Let's just give it a second. Yeah, it's wrapping up, there we go. So we can see, for example, in our case, we have a couple of tunnels our transfer rate between these locations is 36.3 megabytes. Uh, so not too bad, not, not too bad at all, but um, obviously it could be better, but this is a nested environment. That's really it, that's all there really is to it. Now you can play with different options with this command and that sort of thing, but that is the general idea of how you can run this performance test against your HCX environment, which could be helpful if you're troubleshooting it. So that said, that's all I got for you. I will say before I wrap up this video, make sure you subscribe. We hit 5,000 subs recently. That was awesome. I had a little party. Not really, but I don't know. Maybe at 10,000. Maybe maybe we'll get it at 10,000. Um, also, I have an HCX course coming out. If you're watching this, I am probably in the process of sending the files to the editor, or I guess if you watch it a week or two from now, it'll be done being edited. Either way, I have an HCX fundamentals course that once I finish the course and it's published on TechBytes, my training site, then I will put that in the description below and you can get that course. This course is just like this video. We go through the entire implementation of HCX from deploying the Paris location, London, the interconnects. We go through everything from scratch. It's really pretty awesome. I wish I had had it when I was learning HCX. So I hope you enjoy it too. But that said, until next time, I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Stay nerdy.